Today, we celebrate the completion of phase one of the secondary education expansion for development seed program. We also celebrate the close working partnership between the government of Malawi and the United States government that this program embodies. I therefore want to say to you, Ambassador Scott, at the very outset, that we are grateful for the $90 million that the American people have committed to this nationwide project. Classrooms are brighter, better ventilated than traditional classrooms, and they provide for a, a very good learning uh, environment. Together, Your Excellency, we will increase access to secondary schools nationwide by up to 25%. Together, we are removing major barriers so that students can complete their education in safe and healthy environments. We're here at Chenguatua Secondary School in Mzuzu City, where His Excellency the President, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera, came to preside over the handover ceremony of the secondary school project funded by the U.S. government. The new classroom blocks are well furnished inside. Every student now sits comfortably on his or her own desk. The learning environment should reflect the seriousness of the learning itself. A well-maintained classroom communicates to our students that we value their education. It is unacceptable that more than 65,000 Malawian girls who finish primary school each year are unable to go on to secondary school. As such, any country that tag teams with us to change that is a true friend of Malawi. And I'm happy that the United States is among our truest friends. We owe our children the opportunity to develop the potential to solve the challenges they will face in a future we will not see. We owe our children the chance to learn economics and financing so that Malawians they raise tomorrow do not repeat the wastefulness and the mistakes of the Malawians we raised yesterday. 